Hi guys, this is Dana Cruzan from Alpha One Innovations, and today I want to share this great software, Relay That, with you. This is what I've been using to create all of my latest uh, social media images, images for my website, images for clients. It's a really great software, and I just want to show you all about it. So you can defeat design frustration. You can resize for every channel in just one click, and I'll be showing you how to do that. But this is how it works. You create one image, and then you change it, and it fits all the different social media site sizes, which is really important for your branding. You can also add different colors so that you, you, know, you stay in line with your branding. Like my colors are blue and purple. Everything I do has blue and purple on it, and this software makes it so easy. I also use this for clients. I do all of my clients' images in this software as well. You get different accounts. You get different projects is what they're called, and you can create as many as you need. And you can make everything unique. You can use the images provided, or you can upload your own images, which is really great. You can see there's 350,000 different images, icons, and textures that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and get into it so you can see exactly how it works. Okay, I'm into my account now, and I know you've probably been seeing some of these pictures coming across my timeline if you follow me. And um, I've had so much feedback on how great they look, how clean and crisp they are, and how they love my branding. You can look at some of the things I've designed here. This one I used yesterday. This one I used yesterday. These are some ones I did for some clients. This one I haven't posted yet, but you can just see how interesting they are. They're just really, really nice, really different than what you're seeing. And um, for tomorrow, I'm doing a business post, and it's uh, does WordPress drive you crazy? We create update create pages for you and fix issues this is a call to action for people to go to my website because this is something that I can help them with in their business so I looked for a picture of frustration I'm not too happy with that picture so we can go ahead and go in here and I can look for more pictures so I would just type in frustrated let's see what comes up so there's that one picture of her. Um, this one might be okay. So to change the pictures, you just drag it. No, she's got sand on her chest. I'm not really feeling that. I could use this one. No, I don't really like that one. Um, so let's type in crazy. See what comes up when you type in crazy. And like I showed you earlier, there's 350,000 different options you can use here, which is really great. Okay, crazy. Oh, let's use this one. Ha <laughs> ha! Does WordPress drive you crazy? Oh my gosh, I might use that one. That might really get some people going, whoa, what is this? Let's see. Let's try this one. No. Ha <laughs> ha, that one's kind of funny. See, I could do this all day. I have to really put myself on a timer because I can get lost in here. This stuff is fun for me. I think I'm going to use this one just because it is so different. I think it looks really good with the uh, blue. So I could actually download this right now and save this and post this for Instagram because it is a square image, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to download and save this one. Because this is going to be an image people go, whoa, and they're going to look at it because it's crazy looking. So Wednesday VA, so this is going to be, oh, I'm going to go ahead and replace that one. And notice I use my company name, and I do this because when this goes to a website, it always pulls that information. So I always make sure my company name is saved on all of my images. Now I want to show you the cool thing, how you change the size. Okay, so you go up to the top here, and you click on this little box. Oh, my hair is driving me crazy. And let's change it to a Pinterest post. Okay, and of course it pulled in the last Pinterest post I did. 
So you just kind of got to play with it and you might have to retype some stuff or copy and paste some stuff because it does pull information from the last thing you did. So let's change those back to mine. Okay, so it still has the same the same words. So let's see, we want to use that image. Sorry, my computer's slow. It's, it's slow because I'm recording. Okay, come on, background, crazy. There he is. So that kind of works too, um, but we have duplicate things here. So let's take it out here and let's just unblock that. Now that leaves a lot of empty space in there that I'm not really liking. So I could put something in like AOI to the rescue. Now that's kind of cool. Now see if I wanted to change the border I could just change it here and it saves your colors. So if you use colors a few times you know it will save them but I like that being purple better. And you can do an overlay if you want to make it look darker and you can put the colors of the overlay so that it changed the whole feel of the picture so I could make the overlay purple but I don't really like that I'm gonna take the overlay off I can change the colors of the button very easily it's very easy it's very um, simple to use it's very user-friendly so you won't uh, spend a lot of time learning how to use it because it is so user-friendly um, so I think I'm going to use this one, but if I want to go and see what more there is to use or whatever is available, I can just scroll through here and see the different ones that I can use. So I could do this one here, but it has two pictures. I don't really want to use two pictures, so that one's not going to work. There's this one here, but that's a square one. We're using, um, we were doing Pinterest, so let's see. No, I'm not really feeling that one. And I go by feeling a lot. I go by what uh, what piques my interest. You know, what I think that somebody else is going to go, wow, I really like that. So where'd that first one go that we used? And that's one thing you got to be careful of. Save. If you created one that you really, really liked, and then you want to look at something different, make sure you save it because when you click out of it, it goes away. That one's kind of cool. Let's see it overlay. You could make the line blue. Oh, I made it purple. We can make the line blue. <laughs> Um, doesn't give me enough room for my text, so that one's not going to work. It's really important, you know, that you have showing what you want to show. So, sorry if I'm not looking at you, but I have to look at the screen while I'm doing this. So, I really like that first one I used. Okay, I found it. This is the one I like. I really like this one. I like the way it, I just like the way it looks. I've already downloaded it and saved it. So now let's go ahead and do one for Facebook. So this is for Pinterest. So we can do one for Facebook, which is a wide post. I like doing wide posts on um, Facebook because when you look at the square ones, sometimes um, when you have them in your feed, they don't line up right. So I like using wide ones. <clears throat> for Facebook, square ones for Instagram, and tall and skinny ones for um, Pinterest. I also use this wider size for Google Plus and LinkedIn. It just looks better to me. So this one, you can have another picture, and if you remove it, it still leaves it there. So I typically don't use this one unless I have two pictures. 
So I don't have two pictures this time, so that's not going to work. So let's try and find one with one picture that shows the actually the whole face. And sometimes that's kind of hard in the wide version if you have an up and down picture. But there should be something. Okay, here's one right here. Does WordPress drive you crazy? Now see, this has the stars, and I'm really, um, let me see if I can make those stars a different color. I can, but because I'm recording and my face is right here, it won't let me do it. But see, this one is good. I would just make those stars a different color and remove one of these because it's duplicated that, but it's not very big. So I'm really not feeling this one either. That one doesn't show the whole picture. So we may just have to use a square post in Facebook for this one because this picture is not working out and I really love the, the play of color, the um, contrast. It's like, dang, I need to start using some black and white images because this came out really cool. Okay, I would rather have the picture there. And you just got to play with it, you know. Um, you just got to play with it and find the one you want. And there's many to choose from. So let's go back to the top. And we could go ahead and do a blog post. And this is probably going to have the same issue because the way the picture is set. So. I'm just going to go ahead and use the square post this time for Facebook. Oh, let's see what this one looks like. Does WordPress now see again? It's too small down here. It's just um, if we click on Word, okay, that's the thing in the middle. So I could try something like this. Let's see what this does. No, I'm not liking that either. So I'm just going to go with the square post. But anyhow, I just wanted to share with you this awesome software. I love it. I use it every day. I use it every day in my business. Um, it is very cost effective and you need to check it out. So go to RelayThat.com and check it out and you can make some awesome images like I've been making. Like, Let me go to my page. And I can just show you a few of them, photos. Your photos. So all of these were created in that, in uh, Relay That, in the software. And you could just see how different. This one I created in Canva, so that one and that one, no, we're not created in it. This was created in Relay That. This was, this was, this was, this was, this one, this one. I really liked this one. This one I thought was really cute. So check it out and um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below on what you think of the software and if you're interested in getting it. Um, I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get any money back. I just had to share it with you because so many of my friends are virtual assistants and they create images all the time. And I wanted to share it with you all. I also wanted to share it with people who need images made because that's what I do. That's my thing. I love to create images. I have tons of creativity and I can help you out if you need some images made for your social media, for your YouTube, for your website. So reach out to me if you're interested in having some images made for you. My name is Dana Cruzan. I'm alpha1innovations.com. You can find me on Facebook, Dana Cruzan with two N's. Thanks a lot. Have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, Please share it. Please leave a comment. Please like it because all of that makes uh, my social media keep going. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Peace out.